Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this series, we will discuss about, how JPA and Hibernate helps us to achieve persistence in a Java application. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss, how to convert a Java object into an entity in Hibernate using JPA. Friends. In order to convert plain old Java object into an entity, we have to provide Hibernate some metadata, so that Hibernate comes to know, that this particular Java object is an entity. A Java object can be converted into an entity by Firstly, placing few annotations over the Java object, to provide metadata to Hibernate, so as to treat the Java object as entity. Secondly, a Java object must follow some rules in order to become an entity. Let's discuss above two points in more depth. The diagram in slide denotes a simple Java object by name person. It has been converted into an entity by placing few annotations over it and by making this Java object follow some rules to be treated as an entity. Let's move ahead and discuss few important points in making Java object into an entity. Number 1. The Java class must have an annotation by name, at the rate entity, placed just above the class name declaration. At the rate entity annotation should be used from the package Java X. Persistence. Here, Java class person is annotated with, at the rate entity. In order to map this person entity to a database table, it has been annotated by annotation as, at the rate table, providing the table name as, person. At the rate table annotation should be used from the package Java X. Persistence. Number 2, in order to provide a primary key to an entity, we have to provide a field into Java class person, which will be unique. The field created here is by name person ID. It has an annotation over it by name, at the rate ID. This annotation provides hibernate information that this field is a primary key. At the rate ID annotation should be used from the package Java X. Persistence. This person ID property also has an annotation over it by name, at the rate generated value. This annotation takes in a strategy value to let Hibernate know how to create a unique value for the person ID, marked as a primary key for the person table in database. Here, we have used the strategy as generated type.identity. We will discuss about the various ID generation strategies in upcoming tutorials. Let's move ahead. In order provide a name to person ID field in database table person, we provide an annotation over it as at the rate column. This annotation takes in a name which tells Hibernate, that map person ID Java property to database column person underscore ID, in person table. At the rate column annotation should be used from the package Java X. Persistence. Same is done for person name property. Moving ahead. Number 3, the entity class must have a no arg constructor. Moving ahead. Number 4, the entity class must have getters and setters for all the properties present in the Java class. Here we have two properties in person class as person ID and person name. We have to provide getters and setters for each of the property. Moving ahead. The Java class must not be declared as final. No methods in class must be declared as final. No instance variables must be declared as final. Moving ahead. If the entity has to be passed over a network say through a remote call, then it must implement java.io.serializable interface. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to convert a simple plain old Java object into an entity, in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, entity concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hoverspot.com.